and leave people's relationships alone. Leave people's partners alone. Grow up, don't be a complete dickhead. Hello viewers, thanks for joining me today. I um, have something that has been annoying the hell out of me lately. It's when I go to watch YouTube, which I love YouTube, I spend most of my time doing it, being a retired old fart, um, and my feed just pops up these people that are belittling, they're being rude, they're being arrogant, they're being sarcastic, they're being aggressive, judgmental, abusive, stalking, via their YouTube channels, or via the comments. That is just, wow, crazy. I just wonder, in the Philippines, is what I'm talking about, there's an epidemic of people abusing each other and it's going to become a bloodbath I think eventually if you don't knock it on the head now in my opinion you guys need some help you need some counseling and I don't think you'd have too much counseling opportunities in the Philippines I'm not sure about that but I have never heard anyone mentioning it I guess when they're a happy race themselves they don't need it we on the other hand us Westerners, we need it all the time, I think. Um, now, what's the reason that vloggers try their hardest to get views, to gain views, to gain, gain subscribers by abusing somebody else? Just last night, I watched a, a, a clip on a man abusing the way a couple was interacting pretty well stating that the the American man was being well treated under the thumb as they say so what he's probably a lot happier than what he was before and I saw another one where a man was reacting over and over and over again to the way someone treated his channel and things that he'd done and he was copying abuse from this man for things he'd said just this man had been picking picking at every little word that came out of his mouth to find fault with it now we all make mistakes some people lie if they're caught to be lying wouldn't it be easier to let it slide instead of causing grief now I come from Australia, I guess you can pick that from the accent. And I assume that my friends in the United States would have had the same mentality. And that is, if you, and I've experienced this in my, in my, in my past, from both sides of the fence, and I've learnt from it. Now, if you are copying abuse from somebody, they are stalking you, they are talking about you behind your back, they're judging you, whether it be right or wrong. One day, someone's going to flick a switch and who knows what will happen. I can tell in this country, men don't put up with other men abusing them for too long, trust me. Uh, they retaliate. So what I suggest and I'm sure that you guys all know that, is that if you want to keep your viewers happy, if you want your viewers to respect you, if you want other people to respect you, all people, whether they're your viewers or not, they want to hear positive things about you that might encourage them to watch your channel for the first time. If they find that you're, or hear that your your channel is just about having a go at somebody else, or having a go at somebody's partner, which is ridiculous, why, why do you bother? It just makes no sense. It's, wow, it's like overhearing a conversation at the local Coles supermarket, that's what, one of our supermarkets here in Australia, and all of a sudden you start stalking those people and, and, and mentioning and letterbox drops or something about what they did wrong. It's just stupid. Why would you bother? Um, 
you'll get much more respect from your viewers and you'll increase your subscribers tenfold if you cut out the crap. Um, I just think that there's better things to do. You must have sleep deprivation, thinking about it all the time, stewing on it, whether you be the aggressor or you're copying it. Most of the people that copy it seem to be giving it back. Now, there's already been some blood bath stuff happen in the Philippines, but as they don't tolerate that sort of stuff very well, I can see it leading to something much worse where they probably won't even find the body. Um, don't forget that if you're abusing a Filipina or a Filipina's husband or partner, you're abusing their family. They probably won't tolerate it and you may not be found. Sometimes the bodies are hidden. So just grow up and, and be a better person. And, and the main thing with that is, is talking about your intelligence too, like picking on someone, what they say, right? They make a mistake or it looks like they're lying and you're being a big person by pretending that you're more intelligent. You're coming out with big words, some of you are talking big words um, that some people wouldn't even understand. Well, that's gonna lose viewers too. Just talk like a normal person, not like an idiot, if you're not an idiot. And if you're intelligent, cut out the crap so you look intelligent, not abusively intelligent. Um, the, most intelligent people apparently are psychopaths, murderers. I know I wouldn't want to be on that list. So just be a normal intelligent person, a well-liked or loved person, and leave people's relationships alone. Leave people's partners alone. Grow up, don't be a complete dickhead. And when I say that is, to have emotional intelligence is the number one thing. To feel empathy, to feel compassion for other people. And don't sit back trying to think, shit, what am I gonna think about for my videos? Now, looking at me, I, I'm a very small channel owner and I live in Australia. I'm moving to the Philippines in a couple of years time, hopefully. I will have content then. No one's interested in what goes on in this country, so I don't even bother. So nearly all of my stuff has been Creative Commons, mucking around with other people's stuff, legally. Um, and a little bit of my own stuff lately, which is not that popular, but it will be when I get over there, and I'm hoping to communicate with you guys, especially you rude bastard guys, and hopefully educate you. Um, there's a, a Christian channel or two running around over there in the Philippines. Not, I'm not talking about being a Christian. It's, I'm not bringing that up with myself. Now, they don't. They don't get a lot of views. They don't have a lot of subscribers. But I bet you they get a lot of respect from people because they're talking it real, not crazy. So, it's only a short one. And I think, just remember the ticking time bomb. You are going to create a problem. You, when I say you, you'll know who you are. The person that's abusing or the person that's been abused. You've got to remember that if you are a channel owner, right? And you're getting comments come in that are abusive. I've had them. You've got a couple of options. You can just, what do you call it? When, they, when you, you can contact YouTube by the little little couple of dots beside it, you can go into there and go in and say, I want to report this person or this channel. Usually it's a person. They are abusing me. And a couple of words that might go along with that if you want to have a bit of an explanation. They've got a different possibilities there, but you can report them. And then you can block them. You don't have to block them. YouTube will do that for you. So they will never be able to put a comment on your channel again. And that comment and any other previous comments that you don't want on there from them will be deleted automatically by YouTube. That's if you are the channel owner and they're commenting on you. Now, if a channel is talking about you and it's just not right, no one should be abused. There's no excuse. Um, if someone's saying the wrong thing about you, do this. Again, you can go to their video, 
down underneath their video as it's playing on YouTube, there's a thing where you can report them. Same thing, you can report it, you put in the reason. And that channel can be taken away for a few months, as in monetization. They can tell them, YouTube, this is YouTube, I'm talking about they, YouTube will tell them, what are you doing this for? Ask them why. If the response isn't right, they'll either be given a warning, they'll be given a suspension of three months, they'll be given a suspension for six months, or at worst, and it happens quite often, take them down. Your channel's gone. Monetization's gone. You can start again, they don't care. There's no problem there. Start again, you'll be doing one about puppy dogs next time or whatever, and it might be much, much better for you. Don't be abusive, don't be an arsehole. I'm not talking about any particular race. When I come over there, I think there's around 100,000 expats in the Philippines last time I looked up the uh, statistics on it, which is amazing. I don't want to have any enemies over there. And if you find what I'm saying here as an insult, you've got a problem. If it doesn't make sense, why would it be? I'm just giving you advice. I'm being a real harsh counselor, shrink, whatever you want to call them in your country. Um, and I hope to make good friends with all of you when I come over there. And if we don't like each other, we probably won't call each other. We won't send rude messages. We won't put shit comments on each other's sites. You just don't tune in. And if it comes up on your feed, scroll on. Curiosity, don't let it take the better of you. If you got, like there's one particular one that every single video lately, since he was abused by some other idiot, dickhead, he is putting out a video every day of the week that is mentioning the other person in a negative way. So he's doing himself no favor. He'll be losing, losing subscribers. He'll be losing viewers. He certainly lost me. I don't want to see it anymore. Not unless I can see a title pop up one day that doesn't sound in any way negative, then I'll be interested. Um, Negativity is fine if it's on a, a good cause. A good cause is doing someone some good, not bad. Okay, ramble, 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 unscripted, sorry. Um, my first unscripted, I normally write something down, have it sitting somewhere so I can have a bit of a read. I didn't do it this time. Um, I'm sure I forgot so many things I wanted to say, but I probably added lots of things I didn't really intend to say, but I'm happy I did. Wherever you are in the world, mostly in the Philippines, I assume, I can't wait to get over there with you. I can't wait to have a beer with you guys that don't mind having a beer or a game of racquetball or whatever. I don't know, all these funny games they've got around the world nowadays. Pickleball, that's it. Um, not something I've seen, but as we get older, we've got to change what we do. Game of pool, game of darts. I can't wait. And I hope you're really nice people under all that shit that you're putting out there. And I'm sure you are. Goodbye, and goodbye from my boy dog Red too. He well be well behaved this time. Check him out. Bye bye. You're just a good boy.